Startling Statue. Item number, SCP-650. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-650 is to be stored in a lockable room by at least 4 meters by 4 meters, with comfortable lighting. It must remain under constant surveillance by no less than three personnel. Observers are to position themselves so that the SCP and at least one additional observer are in their line of sight at all times. Observation via remote methods such as security cameras is permissible, so long as concentration is not broken at any time. This method should only be used in case of emergency, however, due to the possibility of accidental loss of sight. Description: SCP-650 is a black statue of a stylized humanoid, 167 centimeters tall. The statue does not possess hands or facial features. The limbs taper off into rounded points, and the head is a smooth surface all around. The default posture while under observation has the statue reaching upwards, head tilted as if facing the sky. Composition of the statue is currently undetermined. Materials testing has yielded inconclusive and contradictory results. If the statue is not being observed, it will relocate itself to a point immediately behind whomever is in the containment site and assume a threatening posture. No noise is made during this relocation process, so the precise method of locomotion is as of yet unknown. The relocation point and posture are typically close enough to induce an automatic fight or flight response in the observer once they turn around and see it. However, it should be noted that the SCP has not yet shown any signs of active aggression or hostility. Based on trial responses that vary the amount of time between breaking and re-establishing line of sight, its purpose does not seem to be to attack, but merely to startle. The reason for this is unknown, and no further research is pending to determine its motives. While the primary method appears to be triggering a startled reaction via close proximity, the SCP has also shown varied other postures in the presence of observers who have become used to its effects. In the cases of these observers, the statue has assumed other postures a comfortable distance away, including reclining on a table, sitting on a chair, and in one instance, huddled in a corner as if terrified. Given that the observers who reported these postures also mentioned that they were left feeling uneasy, it is theorized that this may simply be a secondary method of generating reactions. Addendum. Blank. Object upgraded to Euclid class after statue somehow managed to appear on the other side of Site Blank and manifest directly behind Dr. Blank in his office. Additional observational measures are to be put in place to prevent future incidents. Researchers note. I don't give a flying rat about the budget. Keep this damn thing contained. Turning around in a dim office to see this thing a half inch away from your nose is guaranteed to take years from your life. And given what we deal with, we don't have many to spare. Dr. Blank.